Hi, let's talk about data science today. If you want to build your career in data science, this video will be very helpful. I'm gonna tell you what is data science? How does it really work? What does a data scientist do? What is artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning? And finally, I'll also tell you steps that you can follow to break into the industry as data scientist. Okay, so data science is all about making the best out of the cluttered data. It helps to extract meaningful insights from the raw data. It is basically used to make decisions and predictions. It helps in making marketing strategy by analyzing the data. A data scientist discovers hidden patterns from the raw data. We create massive amount of internet data daily while online shopping, communicating, reading news, listening to music, searching for information, expressing our opinions. It's not just internet data, but we generate data in many other aspects of our daily life. Almost everything on earth that generates data comes within the boundaries of this field. You might have heard about data analysis fields like data mining, statistics, predictive analysis. Data science is nothing but just an extension of these data analysis fields. So with the help of data science technique, companies are recognizing clients and their requirements well. Companies are analyzing their challenges easily and also addressing them effectively. Healthcare sectors are finding better solutions to take care of the patients. Better opportunities are being created for the students. E-commerce businesses are transforming and also benefiting immensely. Using data science and machine learning, cybersecurity firms are detecting malwares on a daily basis. All search engines make use of data science algorithms to deliver the best result. Had there been no data science, Google wouldn't have been Google what we know today. YouTube wouldn't have been so big. Facebook, Apple are all using data science in many ways. All right, so let's talk about what does a data scientist do? A data scientist works on data and create models that can make predictions using various algorithms and other techniques. He is the one who analyzes data and brings about information through it. And for that, they rely heavily on artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning. Now, let me briefly tell you about AI, machine learning, and deep learning. Artificial intelligence. It is nothing but imparting a cognitive ability to a machine so that it can function like a human brain. Machine learning. Machine learning is a subset of AI, which allows machine to learn and improve automatically with experience. Machine learning scientists research new methods of data analysis and create algorithms. Let's talk about deep learning. Deep learning is a, again a subset of machine learning that teaches computer to mimic the working of human brain in processing data. Deep learning is the key technology behind a driverless car. This model can achieve high level of accuracy and sometimes exceeds human performance. Now let's talk about data science career and salary. Almost everything on this planet that generates data falls under the radar of data science. So the need for data scientists is also growing. And we can say that data scientists are the future of the world. A website called Glassdoor, which is well-known website worldwide that talks about jobs and salary, has ranked data scientists as the best job in US. LinkedIn has listed data scientists as one of the most promising jobs. And it is also a well-known fact that data scientists are among the highest paid professionals in the industry. An entry-level data scientist can earn about 5 to 6 lakh per annum. And as your experience and skills grows, your earnings rise dramatically. Now let's discuss a few strategies that will give you a successful data science career. And the first one is skills needed for a data scientist. No company would pay you a handsome paycheck unless you are capable of dealing with massive data. So make sure you have got the right skills to get the valuable insights from the huge data. 
When it comes to data science, mathematical skills such as statistics and probability theory are the key for algorithms implementation. And you know what, these concepts help you make better business decisions from data. So make sure you put in a lot of effort into sharpening these mathematical skills. In order to play with data at scale and apply certain algorithms to come up with some meaningful insights, you need to learn some statistical programming languages like R or Python. And you should also learn database querying language such as SQL. Now, in order to master them, you can use online resources that offer really good material. And you can use platform like Coursera, edX, Udemy. Now, to be a successful data scientist, you should have data storytelling skills as well. So work on your communication and presentation skills. Gain some experience. Getting a full-time data scientist role for a fresher is not an easy job. Every company wants to have people with at least a little bit of real world experience. So it's important to gain some experience. And for that, you can start looking for something like on the job training, internships, freelance projects. This will help you gain more experience, skills and expertise. And guess what? They just might result in a full time position eventually. Make yourself visible online. Have a very strong online presence so that potential employers can see what you are doing. You should showcase your proficiency online and you can do so by participating actively in the community, by uploading your projects on GitHub, by writing blogs on data science topics. And this way, employers might reach out to you with freelance projects, internships or interviews. Let's talk about portfolio. As I said, strong online presence is the key to reach out to employers. Your online portfolio can do wonders in impressing the hiring manager. Building a strong portfolio demonstrates your skills effectively and can win the trust of hiring manager. Your portfolio should convey that you have enough skills, that you can generate revenue and opportunities for the businesses, that you can extract insights from the raw data, that you can build a system that can direct values to the customers and others in the organization. Look, if you have a degree in a relevant field from a top tier school, it's relatively easy to get a job. But if you don't have a relevant degree from a top tier school, then you have to build that trust yourself and that you can do through your strong portfolio. You can present your data science portfolio on GitHub or on your blog. If you have personal website, Make a portfolio page there and list all of your projects there. Just remember, if you are a fresher, you should have few projects up on GitHub or on your blog where the code is visible and well documented. Believe me, this strategy will help you to get a job. Now let's talk about importance of networking. Your social environment can help you a lot. Find someone who is already familiar with data science career and can provide you some guidance and advice. Talk to them about which companies they work for. Discuss projects and technologies they are working on. Find out how they got their first job, what path they followed. And finally, you should also try to build relationship with the recruiters. They can assist you in many ways and help you get results faster. Let's create an impressive resume. Recruiters or hiring managers spend only a few seconds on each resume. They quickly filter and rank the applicants either manually or using screening software. They just look for specific skills and keywords. And guess what? Many resumes are rejected because they are not optimized as per requirement. So don't send the same resume to every company. Analyze the position well and customize the resume specific for that position. Believe me, you will get result much faster. All right, so I hope you find these tips helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to write in the comment box below. I'll get back to you. Thank you and see you next time.